Hello everyone. In this video, I will explain you the waterfall model in software engineering. This is very important question and asked in the all question papers for 6 to 10 marks. And if you follow the step by step whatever I explain you and you write it in exam, you can score the full marks in this question. And subscribe to my channel for more videos and previous year question paper solved ones. And let us start without delay. Waterfall model is one of the oldest software models, software development models. This is the oldest software development models. And it is the sequential model. Means each phase must be completed fully before moving to the next phase. If I take the requirements, I have to take in this step only. If I go here, then I need, I need to add the requirement means it shouldn't happen in the waterfall model because the it is the waterfall model imagine the waterfall falling from above to down up to down if it falls once it can't go back right that's why we call it as waterfall model i have to take the requirements in the starting only i can't go back again i can't go back and change the requirements and add the requirements again that's why we call it as waterfall model it is a sequential model that means each phase must be completed fully each phase must be completed fully before moving to the next step i have to complete taking all the requirements in the previous step only in this step only if uh, if i go to designing step and i want to add the requirements means that doesn't happen in the waterfall model that's why we call it as a waterfall model it can't go back understood right very simple you can score easily for this question the first step is this is the waterfall model completely the diagram you have to draw you must draw this diagram for this question this is very simple how to draw this diagram and explain step by step all the six steps you have to explain first one is requirements e for each step you have to write two to three points that's more than enough for requirements you have to take the requirements from the user and you have to design that and implementation the coding will happen in this phase and you have to test that unit testing integration testing will happen in this phase and deployment will happen in the fifth phase and maintenance after deployment you will give to the end user or client they will check that check and test that after that the maintenance will happen this is the complete diagram of the waterfall model you have to draw this in the exam very simple requirements take the requirements from the user design the requirements like a flow chart a flow diagram something like that and implementation the coding part will happen here testing test the code unit testing and integration testing the deployment will happen here and the maintenance the testing will happen here like uh, you will submit to that end user and the uh, maintenance and operation will happen in the sixth phase this is the complete waterfall model diagram let us see one by one explanation the phases of waterfall model the first one is requirement analysis collect all the requirements from the customer you have to collect all the requirements in this phase only if you go to system design and want to add one more requirements means it doesn't happen in the waterfall model because you can't go back that's why you have to collect all the requirements from the customer in first step only for example what should be the what should the software do what exactly the this software do and who will use it who will use this kind of software you have to collect all the requirements from the customer this is the first phase and the second phase is system design 
convert the requirements into design you have to design the requirements properly for example like flow chart to make to make you understand easy that is like flow chart or architecture diagram or database design you have to design the system design will happen in the second phase to make you easy understand how to design that and the third phase is the implementation the coding part will happen here the actual coding starts based on the design based on this design only the actual coding part will start from here and each module is built and tested the each module is built separately and tested separately in the implementation phase only these are the three phases we'll see three more phases the fourth phase is integration testing integration and testing all the modules are combined in the last step i told that all the modules are tested separately but here all the modules are combined together and test for errors if there any error happens bugs will happen then check um, then correct all those and check if requirements are met check whether the customer requirement is met or not in the integration and testing and fifth phase is the deployment software is installed in this deployment phase and deliver it to the client have to install the software and deliver it to the client in the deployment phase and the sixth and last phase is the maintenance and operation in this phase fix the errors after delivery after delivering if there any errors are there means you have to fix it and deliver that deliver that and add updates and improvements if needed if any improvement is needed means add that and give it to the end user customer here the advantages and disadvantages both are there in the waterfall model let us see one by one the advantage of waterfall model the first one is it is very simple and easy to understand because we can do step by step there is no complexity and it is used for the simple projects that's why it is very simple and easy to understand it is it works well for the small projects if if the project is very big then it doesn't work if the project is very small then it works well for the small projects and the third advantage is each phase has clear deliverables because each phase of um, that complete process will happen in that phase only after that it won't take any inputs that's why each phase has clear deliverables in disadvantages of waterfall model it is not flexible because the hard to go back very hard to go back we can't go back in the waterfall model that's why it is not flexible and the second disadvantage is risky if requirements change if the customer come and told you that change the requirement or add any requirement it is very risky to add the requirements in the middle that's why this is the disadvantage of waterfall model and the third one is testing comes late errors may costly the testing if the testing comes late the errors may be very costly in the waterfall model this is all about waterfall model if you write this much you will get the full marks in the exam got it very simple you can score very easily in this waterfall model thank you very thank you very much for watching subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and if you want me to explain any particular topic or subject comment me below and share this info with your friends i'll upload the important questions every day so 
subscribe to my channel for more videos